Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2 here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we are starting our day with hopefully a Pokédex entry. This bad boy ran from us last time on our live stream on the weekend so uh, I might play it safe, silver? Actually why am I even pineapping it? I realised I should probably try and stack up on a few of these with you know potential upcoming travel for this year. It's kind of neglecting that it was a new regional, someone's gonna need this bad boy in our, in our journeys through 2020 so hey there we go locked it in pokedex entry plus a nice little trade for someone who needs it give it a quick little appraise as well okay very very attack and defense heavy again sork and throw really aren't my cup of tea but i'm sure there's someone out there who wants the whole set and all that jazz we did actually start the day as well with a pokedex hatch i hatched sorry go plus action here Hatched a wormple, but uh, I hatched my Pokédex Rog and Roller, which is pretty nice. Uh, and it's not too bad either on the IVs, so registered that one to the Pokédex this morning. And then also, 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 we have got a whole stack of 10 kilometer eggs for today. So there's a whole bunch of new things that can come out of 10 kilometer eggs. You know, Archeops, uh, Tirtuga, Tortuga, uh, the turtle. <laughs> The little raptor pheasant uh, Axew is popping out of there as well. There's Timber. Timber is coming out of there too. There's a lot of potential in the 10Ks. I thankfully only have one 5K for today. Oh, I, mm, okay. Essentially, we want to hatch the 10Ks, clear them out, hopefully get something new. We're going to pray for not a Feebas. And then I'm going to try and pick up as many 2Ks as I can before tomorrow morning. Because tomorrow morning for me is when the time, like the event ends for Party Hat Wemple. It's our last, pretty much our last chance today. So... Let's get into it. Let's get these eggs hatching. Uh, I might head back up to the um, Electric Nest. There's the Electric Nest, actually. The Electric Nest up there at Kingswood Park. Uh, and there's a timber raid right next to it. So I think it's like a double win. That's going to be on the cards. Plus it's raining. They're going to be weather boosted for the next you know, 20 minutes unless it changes. So, oh, and Togepi wants me to go check out this new Pokestop. So we might do that last, I think. Not a bad view at all for a nice little timber raid. So we should be able to, again, destroy this one pretty easily. It is only a level one. So this electric nest should be hanging around for one more week, but it's a bit tricky to hunt because the nest kind of starts or encompasses like down there near the, um, the bogey hole on the rocks down there. It kind of gets up to this grassy area here. Not fully though. I'll kind of show you how it's a hard one to hunt on foot, I guess. It's a, just, it's just time consuming. Go to bonus challenge. Let's see. I mean, I still, I haven't, I've forgotten to look at what the, uh, Hondo IV is. I have a feeling that's. 720, oh gosh, terrible throw. Got a feeling that's lower than my previous ones though. Okay, gotcha, and yeah, actually that might still be actually technically, I guess the best one that I've got so far. The others were like 10, 10, 10 and that kind of jazz. So, I mean, I've got a few to trade either way. So the reason this nest is a little bit tricky, it's just very hilly. So it's like all the way down to the gardens there are included into the park in between the trees there. There's like a nice little rotunda area and then Following this road, it kind of like swoops all the way up to the top where that little fort is on the top there. I think you guys can see it. We've done some cool AR photos up on top of the fort before. And then loops all the way back around to kind of like the start and entrance to this park. It's basically like a Hot Wheels track. Uh, so like lots of like down, 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 up, up, up hills, lots of stairs and things. And you go all the way down the bottom there as well to the bogey hole, which is included. So it's a decent nest, especially for Electric. They've been spawning. Well, that one fled. They've been spawning quite a bit. So I can already see one on the nearby and they've been, last few times, fairly abundant. I've come through here. You know, if you're just doing a quick drive through with the plus on, I've snagged maybe 10 in one go, which is good. So we'll do a quick lap through here. I do also have today. So it's like, a, it's kind of like a time trial, I guess. Got a few appointments to get to and I've finally got my first plasma donation booked in for the first time in uh, over a month. So I wasn't able to donate over Christmas because of new medication I started taking and it's just kind of like a, you know, healthy for you to get used to the new medication and things like that because they obviously want you to, you know, be a healthy and good little donor. So shout out and thank you to everyone who uh, signed up and rebooked to donate blood and plasma over Christmas when I did the little, you know, call out and asked you guys to help and chip in because I wasn't able to do so. You guys are legends. And considering the last few weeks have been a lot of thank yous and things like that, a massive thank you to everyone who came through and donated to our firefighter efforts. We were able to raise $3,200 for the firefighters here in Australia. I've been streaming over on Twitch for Sword and Shield stuff, so if you guys want to watch those back or anything like that, they are available to do so. And thank you guys for being, again, bloody legends. I think I've said that way too much in the last few weeks, but it's deserved.
lucky days here as well. We have got a second, hopefully, <laughs> uh, Pokédex entry here. The other regional uh, Basculin. So we've got the, was this the Red Stripe guy? I think he did. Yeah, looks, yes, Red Stripe. I didn't even really observe him before I caught him. <laughs> yeah, Basculin was caught. Thank you very much. Registered to the Pokédex and, uh, yeah, Red Stripe. Another one to take with us during our journeys this year. Let's see what else we've got on the... Hey! <laughs> Quick! Get him! Joltik! Yo, this is only my second ever uh, wild one that I've seen, actually. We hatched one the other day out of a 5k, which is pretty cool. I just, I love how tiny it actually is on the map. It's ridiculous. It is so, so silly. I love it. I love it. Give us... My, um, my other Joltik are in gyms defending, like, they're strong little small boys. Uh, so, also, you need some candies and things for it like that, so... Not bad. I think maybe the hash one we might evolve. We've now got enough candy for it, which is fantastic. I think I've ever seen... Oh, just up there is a Carvana to check as well. Du oh, it was a double Carvana check. We might... Hopefully it didn't despawn. No on the first one. Let me just see. Hopefully that other one is still here. Fingers crossed. And second check. Double no. There's a double no and the whale is not... Not it either. So not only does Togepi have a point of interest it wants us to check out today, but we've got another little present here. My um, I finally hit Ultra Buddies with Togepi and my first little, oh my god, it's so cute. My first little souvenir from our Togepi. I want to take a photo with this. Oh. <laughs> uh, our first little souvenir was a bouquet of flowers. So let's see what we get. Pineapple berries. Togepi wants a treat, no doubt. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah, Togepi was the first Ultra buddy we hit. Ultra with um, Melmetal as well yesterday, and then Joltik's in a gym. <laughs> so we haven't worked with uh, Joltik for a hot second. But um, I figure if we hatch something decent out of these 10Ks as well, it might be time for an additional a third buddy. Ooh. And I mean, I'm slowly shipping away with uh, Mew and Groudon, so that'll be whenever it is, I guess. Okie dokie lovelies, it is the following day. As is tradition, after doing plasma, I usually get pretty sleepy and don't really... <laughs> really motivated after you know kind of removing almost a, not really a liter anymore it's kind of like six seven hundred mils now of uh of you know human juice out of your body i usually just get a bit tired also it started thunderstorming hardcore yesterday so happy about the rain i hope it's getting to the areas of australia that actually need it with the fires again like you know newcastle having a thunderstorm doesn't cure the fires Hopefully it is going to the right place, but we're going to start the day with a timber raid really quickly. We've got exactly 55 minutes until this egg event is done, uh, and I just had two spare egg slots. I had a 2k from last night that I just put in, a 10k still after hatch, I had two spare egg slots, and wouldn't you know it, I got a 5k. Ooh, got a 10k, so that's cool. We'll stack that up for later, I guess, in the week, and just try and clear these out so we can... Uh, I, did, I forgot to put it on a star piece, didn't I? I was going to stack them all up. Um, to try and uh, le ooh, she did a left hand curve look out boys coming up that was the weakest curve but we're getting there um yeah let's try and pop these eggs asap because if i can pick up a whole bunch of 2ks before it clicks over to 8 a.m i could have a party hat wormple in there so we just have to wait and see get lucky fingers crossed here's what we're on <sighs> let's get step on let's go 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 bit of a wild catch to start off the walk as well a enormous wild snorlax this is gonna be tricky with one hand i think so give me a sec i'm gonna try and keep walking as well to get these eggs pop and i've got about a kilometer and a half left to go on these ones well that was rude snorlax dude how rude oh well uh let's see the go plus has snagged a few nice things i just chucked the drain in the gym over there uh, so not, not not much action in between doing the timber raid and getting to here. I'm going to go walk along the break wall because I know it's a pretty much just a nice big straight line for distance. Oh, 5.1. Good. We're chipping away. We're getting there. We're very close. We can do this. 20, uh, 25 minutes left. <laughs> Okay, 10Ks are going up. There's a little joltic out in the ocean that I'm trying to tap on, but I think we're just gonna lose it this time. So, shield on. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. And I wanna try and get back within, yeah, it's gone. Oh, there's a Bagon under there as well. The break wall always has insane spawns. I wanna try and get back within range of Pokestops because it's only eight 
Litwick. Only eight minutes left, so now the downside to this nice little walking track is getting back to spin some stops for some eggs. So oh, either way, we're off to a good start though. Two good hatches, no, oh, Litwick, yes. Not a Feebas, not a Feebas, not a Feebas. Internal mantra. Will we get a new Gen 5 Unova? Will we get a... <sighs> yep, cool, no. <Nah. laughs> no, not a freshie there. Come on, make it something spicy. Give us a, give us an Axu and Archie. Oh. Shinx. Oh, one more, isn't it? One more? Wow, pretty low IVs on the Shinx as well. Oh no, are you kidding? Is that really? I mean, the two Litwick are good. The two Litwick are fine by me. So let's see. Not bad and eh, could be better. So back in range and let's rock and roll. Sorry, I also have a 2K going. But the, uh, the Go Plus picked up an egg, a 2K egg. Whew, seven minutes. Party hat, but not the right one. Whew, and that's time. 8 a.m. This party hat Pikachu will probably, yep, despawn. Bye bye, buddy. We did manage to grab. Oh, just until we grabbed up, as you can see, a whole bunch of 5Ks. At least we got three 10Ks, which would be interesting. I'll save those for community day. Uh, and I've got one 2K about to hatch, and then two more that are freshly just put in. So we've got three chances left at the party hat weren't all shiny hey if not if you're someone on my friends list and you happen to get two i mean honestly if anyone happened to get two you guys are crazy if you happen to get two literally leave a comment down below if you're going to be at one of the pokemon go fest events or something like that throughout the year potentially i will legit trade you anything in my storage we'll get to best friends we'll get to lucky friends and if you got a spare party hat weren't all oh i will take that off your hands <laughs> oh <sighs> We got three chances though. We got three. We can't lose hope yet. So I'll see you guys in about a kilometer when these eggs hatch. Egg number one of three. I'm gonna give you our expectations at like fifty percent. Just you could have been. You could have been. Nine hundred meters. Oh, goosebumps. Like my leg, I don't want to, like, I mean, like, I've got little goosebumps. I'm like, it could, I want this worm. I don't know why I'm so invested in this damn worm. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, I was about to do this whole speech about, like, isn't it poetic? We're back where we started. My eggs were hatching. So I closed the app to start screen recording. Uh, the app has crashed. Oh, no. We just got robbed of our animation. Okay, we're gonna open up the menu. We're gonna open up Pokemon and we're gonna see in there some party hat wormples with a sparkle. We're not gonna see Oshawott, we're not gonna see Tepig. Three, two, one. Oh, somehow that's worse. <laughs> somehow that's worse. I wouldn't have minded a good IV Oshawott or Tepig. Oh my god, really? Love Disc and Magikarp for our last two eggs. Rip in pieces. Oh, I mean, I mean, look at the diversity of the break wall. Amazing spawns on the break wall. Shout out to the break wall, always doing the work. Ah, <sighs> I know I could have gone a bit harder this week catching eggs, but like, we weren't stupid hard last week. Like, just in Sydney, the day in Sydney alone, we hatched so many eggs. Again, if anyone's got a spare party hat wormple, hit me up. I will not take someone's singular one unless they actually just hate it, unless you really don't like it, you don't want it sort of thing, but legit. I will, oh, look at all these things, all these. Anything named exclamation mark, look at all this. Anything named with a hashtag as well, it's up for trade, like so many things. I'll give you two shinies. I'll give you two shinies for a shiny party hat wormple. Legit. Bonus points if you're already on my friends list because then we don't have to work on, you know, hitting ultra like lucky friend and stuff like that look at this mm, yum 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 so many options want some metagross you want some shiny metagross <laughs> in exchange for a party hat wormple oh gosh like ugh. 
It is what it is. It can't be controlled. I can't, you know, will it into existence. Any hundos in our adventure today? No. <sighs> See, if this was a wild event, my GoPlus would have picked it up on the first day. It would have had that party hat wormple in the bag, locked down. But, you know, it is what it is. It can't be changed. Let me know, how did you guys go overall for this? Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, by the way, it's spawning in the wild now again without the hat. Let me know in the comments down below, how did you guys go for this entire event? Did you get some good hatches, some good catches, some sweet raids and trades? How did you guys do for this entire two week long party event? Let me know in the comments down below. As always guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.